Here's meteorologist Tom DeVecchio, your weather authority. As it turned out, uh, while it's threatened uh, pretty good, we haven't had a lot of rain downtown Erie. And uh, here at the Bayfront, quick fill weather cam, and uh, the boats are there. You can see here on the, the left side, uh, we have the boats like the Pride of Baltimore too, and of course, uh, we have uh, the Brig Niagara here along the tower, and uh, we've had uh, clouds that look like this. They're big, they're ominous looking, uh, but so far we have the sun coming out here, and uh, they really haven't uh, done a whole lot. The latest in our storm tracker uh, showing, again, the line came through, clipped Erie, uh, but pretty much uh, almost a complete miss for us. It's developing farther inland, which actually the models hinted at yesterday. Uh, and uh, we have uh, these uh, showers and some heavy downpours moving through Edinburgh. A little bit of back building, as we call it. You see another secondary line forming close to the I-90. But so far, it's staying south of the city. So if you are planning to go to tall ships, uh, I think we're, you know, I'm not ruling out. There still could be uh, some uh, possible uh, showers or a storm developing. Uh, in the case of Ava as well, which begins at 5 o'clock today. And now Crawford County Fair, yeah, looks like we're going to get some rain here uh, probably within the next half hour. So that's something to watch out for as well. But if you're going to tall ships, uh, bring an umbrella just in case, uh, but uh, the threat is probably at or less than 50-50 right now. Temperatures around the area, lower to mid-70s uh, with the clouds, though with the sun coming out, uh, and especially out toward Warren County, which had decent sun this morning, uh, Youngsville responding at 81. And with all the moisture, look at that, dew points almost at tropical levels here in Erie. Uh, so that's why we can't completely rule it out. And uh, you'll notice here, sun breaking out uh, right now in Erie. But clouds starting to build to the west again out over the lake. Uh, those could build in and may see some formations here. So we have a lot of possibilities for maybe more showers and storms during the afternoon. But they will be scattered on and off if they do occur at all here along the lake shore. After that, uh, things uh, start to calm down everywhere by early evening. Clouds will hang tough for tomorrow on that northeast wind. Might actually be kind of chilly in the morning, but uh, we'll have some more sun break out during the afternoon, and that'll lead to some high humidity for Sunday. So forecasting along the lake shore, partly cloudy skies. There's a chance of some scattered showers and storms. Temperatures uh, in the upper 70s. On the inland side, we'll have some scattered showers and storms. That line going through in the next hour or so. And then a uh, chance of some uh, more scattered storms later in the day. Temperatures in the middle to upper 70s. Chautauqua, the Gainey area, increasing clouds. You'll see some scattered showers and storms through the afternoon. Most should be done uh, soon after sunset and then mostly cloudy for the rest of the night. Morning clouds, some afternoon sun tomorrow. Highs in the mid to upper 70s. Not a bad day with less humidity. And uh, as uh, we check out the rest of the forecast here uh, for the weekend Sunday, warm and humid temperatures in the mid 80s. And then uh, we'll have uh, upper 80s Monday with scattered showers and some storms as well. Better chances on Tuesday. And you can uh, get the...